So hello everybody and thanks for joining us for this special live session. I'm Itzik Amiel and we are here with the weekly Switch interview series, Switch It On, where we talk to smart and talented people about how you could switch on your practice and even your life. And you're invited. So if you're watching us now, we are live. So you're very welcome to join us. And uh, yes, and of course, if you're here, put your name in the chat and let me know where you're dialing from, who you are, because not only me want to know that, and I can see you joining us, also our guests and everybody else in the room, the community. So please let us know in the chat where you're dialing from. Today, we're going to talk about something interesting because I love this subject, and I think we'll have a, a wonderful lady, our guest, and you'll hear very soon. But the subject today is building connections from the inside out. Or maybe one, we want to answer the question, how to build connections from the inside out? And again, uh, you're very welcome. And I see you today with Rajes and David and Diana and Alexia and Marvez and Marino and Tanya. And Val. So all of you, there, great that you're joining, but let's know you're there. But you want to know, and of course, if you have any questions, do in the chat. Please be my guest to let us know. Thank you, Marco, for being uh, Marcy, sorry if you'll be the first one to let us know you're from West Palm Beach. Wonderful. Thank you very, very much for joining us. So everybody else, if you have a question, of course, you're also welcome to ask it on the chat as well. So I can address your question to our guest today. So I have the honor today to have this live session with the top human connection expert and author. Today, my special guest and friend is Uni Toritini. And I hope I pronounced your first name and last name right Uni, you're soon going to tell me. But before I invite Uni to tell us, let me give you some highlights about her. Because, you know, I like to talk behind people behind the back and most of it, and a little bit in front of them, not to embarrass them. So Uni is the first, a lawyer, an author, speaker, facilitator, and a human connection expert, helping professionals and teams plug into their power and cultivate a culture of belonging. Norwegian board Unio Toretini is the author. In 2020, she wrote the book of Betraying the Noble, the Secrets and the Corruption Behind the Nobel Peace Prize. And you probably already wonder if you didn't read it. You probably if you read it. And in 2015, she wrote the book, The Mystery of the Lone Wolf Killer. And this last book won the 2016 Killer Nashville Silver Flaxion Award, Best Nonfiction Book. When he has appeared on many media channels, including ABC, the Least, NTD News, TRT World, GB News, Fox 26, BBC World, and as well as an authority magazine, The Voice of America, The New York Post, and many more. And Uni actually grew up as a global citizen, spending half of her life abroad, including the United States, France, Switzerland, before returning to Oslo in 2016. With a law degree from Norway, France, and the United States, when he is a member of the New York Bar and worked in law and finance for nearly a decade before becoming a full-time author, speaker, and facilitator. You know, I don't want to call a former lawyer. I don't call myself a risk because we're still paying the bars, but we do other things as well, as you see. So I want to invite Uni to join me. So welcome, Uni. Here you are. Welcome, Uni. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Itzik, for that wonderful introduction. And it's su such an honor to be here with you and having this conversation. You know, I'm always every, I, I'm confused when I introduce people. And most of people are joining a non lawyer, or I should not say non lawyer, or being, never been a study law. But when I bring somebody like you, study law always fascinates me because you're not a typical lawyer that I know when I was being a lawyer. And I always felt like those people are always being unique. And when I see them go out of law doing other things, I said, where have you been? Why didn't you do it from the beginning? You know, same question I ask myself. But uh, so yeah. thank you very much. It's great having you here. Me. Do I pronounce your family and first name correct? Or absolutely, yeah. My name is was was re really well uh, pronounced. So thank you so much for that. It's like I appreciate it. So I think it will be everybody here who's joining us who listening to. Also, those who listen to the replay will be here for a real treat because you know I know you have a lot to share with us. And so with your permission, let me set this stage for our conversation. Because we all heard about the, or I don't know, but many people heard about the loneliness epidemic. Yeah. But, you know, so many of us feel lonely these days uh, because we have, I think we wish to have more deep, meaningful connection with others, but we do not know how to create them. Mm -hmm. And this is especially true at work. And it's not surprising that loneliness affects people who work from home but it even affects people who go to work in person to the offices. So why do work feel so lonely? What can be done 
today or in the future about it. This is exactly the reason for this special session with Uni, to help you understand what can each one of us do to overcome loneliness and feel more connected. Isn't it about time? So, you, Uni, you know, I'm starting always my uh, session with what I call 10 in one. I'm going to ask you 10 questions in one minute and just to let a glimpse of your expertise before we're going to dive into more, you know, the more questions we set up to talk about today. So uh, those who are listening to us, I encourage you to join us. If you want, put your answers in the chat if you want, because it's going to go very fast, and I'm going to prepare it. So are you ready for that, Uni? Because you, yes, you, absolutely. You let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how this works. So here we go. So let's go for the first one. Question number one. Loneliness is a very real and terrifying feeling. Is it just a bad situation, or you cannot feel loneliness at all? So loneliness can be many different things. Uh, so this is actually a much deeper question than, than sort of like a quick. You can feel uh, lonely all the time. You can feel lonely in moments when you feel you excluded or rejected. Um, and you can feel lonely when you are physically isolated from people. And as you mentioned, you can feel lonely when you are surrounded by people. So I think that's my short answer for that. <laughs> Okay, thank you for that. That you know, my questions are not tricky, so try to pick up one of my answers, if not any of them. Number two, loneliness means that you're on an empty island or alone in an empty city. That's exactly it. Not always, or it depends. Uh, I would say um, empty exactly, island. Or empty not city. always, and depends. Okay, <laughs> great. Number three, loneliness is fortunately not so common common only in certain jurisdictions or the fastest growing epidemic in the planet? Loneliness is the fastest growing epidemic on the planet. One in five people everywhere, it's like, are dealing with loneliness as we speak. And if you live in the United States, the stats are even higher. Three out of five American adults are struggling. Wow. And if you are there listening to us, I better, you better stay with us because if you never heard about it, you better listen to it very carefully because, as you heard, is the fastest growing epidemic in the planet. Number four, Uni. COVID-19 has dependent epidemic of loneliness, big time, only in your dreams, Itzik, or maybe in the future. I would say that it definitely has deepened it. Now, there was a loneliness epidemic even before the pandemic, but it has worsened uh, since the pandemic. Maybe even create more awareness for all of us to know it exists, right? Yeah. Number five, your relationship with your colleagues have a direct influence on your feeling. Not always. You bet. Or don't put it more words in my mouth. It's... You bet. <laughs> <laughs> your relationship with your colleagues is so, it's so crucial and so important. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Number six, bad work environment costs you health. Sometime, every single time. Or don't make me mad, it's I think we can say that every single time. And also what studies research show is that um, the, the work environment, a toxic work environment is 10 times more important, a factor in making people quit their job than salary. So work environment is crucial. Absolutely. I mean, I know it on my health. Number seven, yeah. the first element to break away from loneliness is self-worth mindset or depends on the situation i would say that it always comes back to your self-worth and your connection with yourself so yes self-worth many of us forgetting many times number eight one of our most important sources of connection is our family the workplace or you're still looking for it <laughs> Well, I think it depends. For most people, it will be the workplace because most of us spend more time at work than we do at home and with our friends. So the workplace is uh, really a crucial place to begin to battle this ep epidemic, I would say. And if you're a lawyer and accountant listening over there, you know what you're talking about because you're probably out there and your office listens to us. Number nine, one of the ways to feel more connected at work is Arrive early and leave late, learning sometimes about your coworkers or oh, ask for help. I would say the two latter. So learning more about your coworkers creates connection, sharing stories, and also asking for help is very important. Exactly. It was a tricky question. You passed it. Number 10, you can increase your self-worth by connecting with yourself 
giving from yourself or creating relation and uh, relational energy in all your interactions all of them connecting with yourself giving of yourself and creating relational energy in your all your interactions great and this is just the beginning so those of you who are joining us again you're very welcome to put your name in the chat to let you know thank you very much only for those quick so i think we are ready now to uh, a little bit go insights more in deep on things that you want to share with us um if you allow me i shared in, in, in my short intro about you only that you are a lawyer and practice law i think if i'm not mistaken over a decade yeah so the obvious question because many of my viewers are always professional from all over the world my obvious question should be and i want you to ask you is how did you begin study loneliness connection what's going on with me <laughs> yeah it's a great question and thank you for asking that so i i worked in law and finance uh for for about a decade before i i quit my job to be at home with my two small babies and um and that is that is really when i discovered how disconnected i was because i was i found myself at home with my my kids and my family and i just had for the first time in my life i had time to reflect upon my life although i was busy and i was exhausted but i had time to reflect which i didn't really have when i was busy working and and you know uh being productive all the time mm -hmm. so that's when i realized that waking up one morning and feeling really unfulfilled and empty even though i had everything that i had ever dreamt of having and that's when i started going deeper into this and, and reflecting a lot and working on myself how can this be that i feel so empty when i have like these you know i love my family more than anything i had an amazing career i you know i i've accomplished so much how come i feel so empty and that is when i you know you know, uh, after, you know, some time, this didn't come uh, immediately, but I discovered that, that loneliness, that I had actually been moving from country to country, searching the world for belonging and connection. And when I thought I had all of this, I had all the friends, I had an amazing network, I had my, my husband and, and my kids, and I still felt empty. That's when I discovered that loneliness is a disconnection from yourself and that's when i started working on my my self-worth and my relationship with myself i think when we listening to you we can hear almost in your word the pain that you had in that moment mm -hmm. but i think the the beautiful what you're sharing is not the conclusion but the fact that you allowed yourself yeah to dig and find it because otherwise yeah. you go okay if everything perfect maybe i'm just crazy a moment of craziness because we all yeah. feel it, but when, when you felt it and dig into it, mm -hmm. I guess that's what a lot of people don't do, right? Absolutely. And, you know, a lot of people do what I what I used to do, right? They fill up their lives with with material things, with mm -hmm. titles, with degrees, with, mm -hmm. with a, you know, an amazing career and family and people around them. But they never stop to ask the question, what makes me really happy? How, how, like, how can I feel fulfilled? They just keep on adding on things, right? And there's nothing wrong with material things and titles and, and a career. That's not what I'm saying, but you can have all of that and you can feel really lonely and miserable at the same time. And while that's not the fact for everyone, it certainly is for a lot of people. Absolutely. And I like it very much because I think it's also in my own life. So I think it's uh, something I never thought about came in directly, but listening to you, hearing what you're saying, understanding the process of it, we're going to hear more today, then definitely affect a lot of people and some of them don't even dare to, to think about it. So yeah. as you're joining us, you're invited to join us. We're talking about how to build your connection from the inside out. And I'm here together with Yonito Rittini. And I think you, you'll find it interesting, more than interesting, so valuable to your life, your career especially when you're successful, especially mm -hmm. when you have all these things. Yeah. And especially when you have nobody to talk to about these things we're going to talk about today. So, Uni, uh, okay, let's dive more into this interesting and important subject. Uh, we mentioned already many times today already the word loneliness. So to help us out, Uni, what is loneliness? How would you define it? What is not? What is the symptoms of loneliness that sometimes some of us are ignoring it all? Yeah. So let's start about like the definition of loneliness. So if you look loneliness up in the dictionary, you'll find that loneliness is the, the longing for 
for, 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 you know, deeper relationships with people for, to have more friends to, to, you know, for a romantic relationship, it can be, but also for belonging, you know, in your wider society. So loneliness are those things, but what the dictionary and the literature, what they don't talk about is this thing What I found is that loneliness is also a disconnection from yourself. And until you have reconnected with yourself, you can have all these exterior things, but you will never feel fulfilled. So I think it's important to, to really um, understand that fact of, about loneliness. And also, and I think this is really important for, for those of us who have accomplished quite a lot, who are successful, who, you know, are, you know, um, you know, professionals and working hard and have, have a lot of things in their, you know, going for them in their life is that loneliness is not a failure of social connection, right? Like that's, that's, I like, I didn't talk about my own loneliness for the longest time. It's like, because mm -hmm. I felt this shame, this, th that I had somehow failed, that everybody was so happy in their relationships. Mm -hmm. And I was the only one who wasn't. And so that 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 sort of that longing for for connection doesn't mean that you have failed and it's it just means that you have to come back to yourself and in in our society today it's like it's so easy to um to get distracted i mean we are bombarded every single day with with the news with fake news with with all sorts of things like distractions like everywhere and so we are so easily distracted from ourselves and so and and this is one of the things that i teach my students and is is to have a daily practice of reconnecting with yourself that is like the 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 first thing that i teach people I used to do it, you know, by going to the toilet in the office, looking at myself in the mirror and talk to myself like, oh, I'm talking to another human being. And that's how yeah. I was able to have conversation with myself. And nobody was hearing me because I was thinking I got crazy or something, you know. Yeah. But I think that you're right. It's difficult to do it. And if you don't take the time to do it, then, you know, things will disturb you. And though you felt lonely, but then it's gone away. And then you're forgetting it, although you are still lonely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think and the I think second thing, oh, go ahead. No, I, I'm just, I was just going to add to that, that, you know, what you're saying is so important. And, you know, to add to that is that when someone says they're lonely, and this is where the whole self-worth comes in to the picture, is that mm -hmm. when someone says they're lonely, what they're really saying is, I don't believe I'm worthy of love and connection. And this is something that it took me some time to really realize, because, I mean, I, you know, I felt pretty good about myself. I, you know... I, you know, I've been quite successful and, you know, have all these things and have all these things going for me. Nobody on the outside could ever have perceived or guessed mm. that I was feeling this way. So this, uh, this, this whole, I would say that, yes, there is a loneliness epidemic, but really what it is, it's an, it's an epidemic of unworthiness. Because if you think about it, I mean, I have yet to this day to meet one person who doesn't have any doubts about their self-worth or believing that they're enough. I don't know about you, uh, it's like, but like all of us, right? Like we go, we walk around with this like, ooh, like, am I really worthy of this? Can I really ask for that? Can I, can I have all of it? Like, you know, we ask ourselves these things all the time. I think it's part of life, but I think what you said, uh, and I'm, again, I'm just reflecting also my own experience of life, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, looking at things, I think one of the most difficult things for me was to find this person, even if I found the loneliness, to find it to share it with, except for myself. And I remember when I shared it with people, as a person who known to be a network connector, people were laughing at me. Yeah, sure, you feel lonely. Yeah. You know? And then and I was seriously wanted to have this, and I could not, nobody could understand me. So I mm -hmm. felt only the person who could understand me the best was myself. You know, and I had to find a solution within inside me to be able to help me and not to depend on others because mm -hmm. people really thought I'm crazy. You know, you mm -hmm. don't need, you're not lonely. You surround all the time with people. You teach network, yeah. you teach connecting. So yeah. I, you're so right about it because it's outside. Everything looks amazing, perfect yeah. but within and, and nobody dared to ask. Nobody would come to you and say, are you lonely or you feel lonely or, and, um, and I think you're right about all those things. And a lot of people listening to us said, wow, you, how did you discover it? And I think you're talking to them. And I think those of you joining us, 
we you are invited to stay with us. Don't go away because we're do- talking about something very important, how to build connection from the inside out. It's yeah. dealing that each one of us, and I think only just may mention this, that this in the US, out of one out of three people have this loneliness epidemic. Are you, you, you listen to me, it's big, it's huge. It's so huge. It. Yeah, it's huge. And, so, and one of the things that like that I think is so important is I talk about this a lot, is to become the nucleus in your own life, meaning you become the center of your own life. And a lot of people then ask me, well, Uni, doesn't that make me selfish if I like, like we, we have enough narcissism in our world. Right. And that is true. But narcissism doesn't mean you love yourself. Narcissism is actually a self form of self hatred. Right. So, um, so what I'm talking about is really coming back to reconnecting with who you are and having more of you, your authentic self shine through. And, you know, so, and and that's actually one of the, the, the links that I shared with you. It's like, if you want to share that, now sure. is there's this I created a quiz where uh, which gives you an understanding of where you are in terms of, you know, where are you like how how connected are you with your source of power with yourself and being the nucleus in your life. And then, you know, once you, it takes, you know, two minutes to to complete the quiz and then you get the results and you also get some tips on how to improve where you need to improve it. So it's a really great tool that I use a lot. And, and, um, you know, all my clients, they, they love it and they take it every once in a while because it is such an important, um, you know, awareness is always the first thing, right? Like we need to be, have awareness of where we are right now. So when we know where we are, then we also know that we, there's also, then it's also possible to, okay, what do I need to do now? Like what's the next step? Exactly. And I, I'm, I value this thing, it's free of charge. Go there, do that. It will help you a lot. And I think it will help you also reflect on things you, you thought you knew, but probably you didn't know. It's very short, two minutes yeah. is what you said. So it's the, 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 the link is on the, on the screen. So I, it's long to read, but it's personalpower.scoreapp.com. Personal yeah, absolutely. Or you can, if you're on LinkedIn, I'm, I'm also on LinkedIn. You can just, you can, you can contact me there, DM me. Uh, you know, I also, uh, on my website, you can contact me on it's, it's, there's a link on my website as well. So any, anywhere you want to contact me, DM me, I can just, you know, send, send the link as well. So no problem at all. <laughs> Thanks for that. And, and, and those of you, again, if you have questions, we're going to put it in the chat. We want to know, we want to ask any, and I'll keep my own question for, uh, just to have your Please, so do that, please. Otherwise, I'll continue. Um, only you know, you may you may know not, or you probably know that I speak a lot about authentic connection and how to yeah. build it for for the long term. And so I want to help our viewers to think differently, and we get really practical advice from you. So I should say we came to the real question: the why. You know, mm-hmm. why is connection important to your business and to success, according to you? Only. So just, you know, um, connection is everything, as you know, as as both of us know, like connection is what we live for as human beings. We are hardwired for connection without connection, our life, everything that, you know, nothing that we do has any meaning. So we need, and we, and we know this there, you know, there, there are studies from, from way back where, you know, where they didn't give babies. Um, this is like, from you know centuries ago when they you know some some king in germany decided to do this project and 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 you know on 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 babies growing up without you know any connection without any nobody picking them up and touching them and 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 talking to them and all these babies you know i mean it's terrible all these babies died and so we know that without connection we literally we we it's lethal for us not to have connection right and we also know through you know tons of research that connection affects our health our physical health our mental health because what happens when we when we feel lonely over time is that our body believes our you know our nervous system sends you know signals to the brain that we are in danger because wow. we you know as human beings we you know we we cannot survive in the wilderness on our own we need help from other people so um so we go into this fight or flight um, nervous response. And, and so what happens is that the body then sends us all these chemicals, um, and hormones in the body, you know, so that we will be able to either run from the enemy or fight the enemy. But when these chemicals stay in the body over time, they, 
they um, tear us down from the inside. It weakens our immune system. We also become very narrow minded because our focus is on my like literally on my body. How can I you know, survive the situation? And so we become self-centered in that state of, of feeling disconnected and lonely because we, you know, our body and it's just the way that we are designed, right? Human design. So, and we see it in the world today. I mean, we're so polarized, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard to have, you know, even, you know, people are so, um, uh, easily offended, you know, if you like, you can hardly be in a conversation and disagree anymore. It's like, you know, we're so on edge and that is the, the survival mode that we're almost all of us in. And I think that's where the pandemic didn't help because we, you know, we were so, we were in such a state of fear. And even though today, most of us live, you know, quite normally again, right? Mm -hmm but we haven't released the tension and we're still sort of on edge and in survival mode. And we see that like in our, you know, all the conflicts going on around us. But I found it interesting, you know, what you're saying that I think during the pandemic, I think the awareness of the loneliness, you know, was many people we got aware of it. Mm -hmm. But my fear is now that after the pandemic is over, People even put it even more deeper, ignore it even yeah. more because they just thought, okay, I dealt with it. No, I'm not lonely, but it's still there. I mean, it's still so there. Nice. It's part of our life. And, and even before, because we're aware of it, many people more aware of it now, but nobody is looking for solutions. And maybe it's that time after corona, not to be embarrassed. There are yeah. solutions. There are ways to cope with it, like you're teaching it very well. And, and, and people just have to seek for that help, but not to ignore it because, it, as you said, and I think that's the most important part, it will eat you up. Yeah. Healthy, you're not going to be healthy. It's not anymore about business or money or yeah. lifestyle. It's about your yourself, your body, your health. Exactly. It's about your health and also the mental health. I mean, depression is you know soaring the numbers. You know, I mean, and and you know, the UN, the World Health Organization, are predicting that depression will be the number one cause of disability by 2030. I mean, depression is a huge deal, and you know. And, and affects us all, not only us as, as individuals, but companies and our societies. Mm -hmm. And that is also why, um, you know, producti our productivity, just like being able to, to be successful and get done what we want to get done. And also for companies, um, the, the, the numbers out of the United States right now is that loneliness is costing the U.S. economy $406 billion wow. every single year. In lost productivity. I mean, it's huge, wow. right? Yeah. So, so just you know, think about how that affects us. The you know, this when we're in the state and depressed and down and not having the energy or the motivation, and we're seeing that also with the Great Resignation, people quitting their job, peeing, and if you're not quitting because of, you know, interest rates, you know, have 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 surged and you know all the all the the financial uh, economical um, issues. People are quiet quitting, right? They're just doing the bare minimum to to get by. So, and meaning they quit on themselves too. So it's a it's a you know it's a it's a big deal. And I think, um, as you're saying, I think people are looking for solutions. They just don't know where to find them. And that is so we're looking for the answers outside of ourselves. We're looking for the answers in in antidepressants, in in medication. And while I'm not against medication whatsoever, you know, or or you know, and people, you know, all sorts of addictions, right, that we get, you know, because of loneliness. Um but the problem is that people are, you know, we're, we're not teaching people or, you know, I'm trying to teach people, but, but we don't like, there's not enough knowledge of this, which is why I appreciate this conversation that we're having right now is that the first thing is to reconnect with yourself. There's nothing, there's no drug on the planet that's going to help you do that. You have to do that. And I think you said also before something else, I want to uh, mean emphasize as a lawyer to a lawyer, Love yeah. feels still ashamed. The thing like failing, admitting it, or talking about it, uh, the feeling, you know, uh, ashamed, as you said yeah. before. And I think that should stop because otherwise Absolutely. you're not helping nobody, including yourself. And I think if you don't help yourself, guess what? You cannot help nobody else. 
So fresh help you. So. Exactly. So start sharing, share with someone, share with some of them, you know, like something that you're going through and, you know, even reach out to me and share it with me, you know, like I'll, I, I respond to people's messages like all the time. Like I always respond to people when they reach out to me because I get tons of emails, tons of DMs all day of people who are reaching out to me like, Uni, I don't know what to do. I feel so disconnected. I feel so lonely. And just the fact that you do that, that you get it off your chest, that you shared it with someone, just that helps. Because what it does is that you're finally getting it out of your your mind up here and you're actually integrated into your body. You accepted something as true. Okay. So this is, is what it is right now. I have the awareness. Now what? Now I'm ready for action. And now I'm ready to do something about it. Awesome. Honey. And I appreciate a lot of everything you're doing for the world and sharing your gift and your abilities. And I don't feel sorry. You're a former lawyer. So uh, I'm sure a lot of you listen as well. So if you're interested in learning more about Uni, by the way, and her work, you could check definitely her website, and I will put it in front of you. It's unitouatini.com, unitouatini.com. Just make sure that it's double T, double N. And you'll find more information, including the quiz we shared before, and more information how to contact Uni, what can you learn, how can you hire her to help you service it. And of course, if you make sure you never miss one of our weekly Switch on interview series, follow me on LinkedIn or go to the Switch Up website. You can sign up, get my business development strategies and tips, or you'll be added to the email list where you can get regular reminder about fantastic guests like today, our conversation. Only. So let's continue about the practical topic of building connections from the inside out. And only from my humble experience, loneliness is not an um, abstract condition, if you want, that mm -hmm. affects only certain kind of people. Yeah. But the truth, as you agree and you said before, is that the feeling of loneliness can affect anyone, you know, young, old, in between, and at any point in time, of course. Yeah. So as an expert of loneliness yourself, and to help our viewers, again, get practical ideas and solutions, my last question for you, Luni, is uh, what, can, um, what can each one of us, I should say, each of our listeners, each one who are thinking about it, to do to overcome this loneliness and feel more connected? What would your advice will be? What would be the first step that you should do right now after listening to this conversation? I think, first of all, um, integrate uh, a morning practice where you take, let's say you take 15 minutes every morning and you sit down and you write, a, you, you take a journal, you take a blank page in your journal and you write at the top of the page, how can I love myself a little more today? That is a powerful question. And it might, sound, it, it might sound silly. And it's something that I had a lot of resistance to doing in, you know, uh, in the beginning. But now I love it. I use it all the time. Because what it does is it starts, your brain starts, even if you can't answer completely what it is. And also it depends on how you're feeling that day. Some days it's like, I need to like, just lie down and take a nap for 15 minutes. You know what I mean? It's like, and, or, or maybe I need to go and make myself a cup of coffee or go for a walk with my dog, you know, whatever it is for you, try to give yourself what it is that you feel you need. Because when you do that, you're actually training your brain to, to you teaching your brain that you are important. So mm -hmm. you need to, in order to increase our, our self-worth, increase confidence, start taking those little actions, those little things toward to, to meet yourself where you are. And then, you know, building confidence, uh, doing something a little bit outside of your comfort zone every single day. And there's one thing actually that might be a little bit out of some people's comfort zone. And that is, and it's, it's a really important part. It's about contributing. And I love this so much. Uh, I talk about it all the time and it's so simple and I call it hope, help one person every day. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It can be, you know, commenting on someone's post on LinkedIn. It can be sharing someone's post. It can be that you recommend a book. To, maybe you have an idea for, 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 it's like about like who should be a guest on your show in a couple of weeks. You know, you know, it can be so, you know, something so little. Um, but what it does when you give of yourself is that you feel like you matter. 
You get out of the sometimes misery of your own brain mm -hmm. and into a more creative and positive state of mind. And that when you have done that, you have won because then your day is much better and the day of, of everyone else around you is so much better too. And what happens is what, and, and what you mentioned at the beginning in one of the questions, what you, when you help someone else, you create relational energy, which is really just the energy that is, that is uh, created in every single social interaction. Um, but you, but we also know what it's like when the relational energy is zero or negative, right? When you get home from a party or a meeting and you feel drained, mm. you feel down and you don't know why you just, you just feel it's, you don't feel great. That's negative relational energy. But if you, if you meet someone, if you meet someone or you, or you have a meeting with someone and you give them a compliment, you give them your undivided attention, you, you make them feel like, oh, I see you. You are valuable to me. You matter. And all these like little things that we can do, that's when relational energy is created. And what's so beautiful about that is that it's not only a gift to the person receiving, exactly. you know, the attention, it's a gift <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. It's almost like a selfish behavior but without doing anything selfish about it. Yeah. Like you yeah. Value it exactly. Yeah. I agree hundred percent. That's how you charge your own energies. And yeah. it's fascinating that you're right. When you're doing that, nothing else matters. You don't think about money, materialistic yeah. thing, or yeah. how much uh, food you're going to eat tonight. It's just the fulfillment of the relationship will fill all yeah. the needs. Yeah. Absolutely. Love it, love it, love it. So, uh, again, I'm calling the last one. There was who are, are listening to us right now, and I see Alina, you're joining us as well. Thank you. It's so interesting and appealing conversation. Thank you very much, Alina. And I hope yeah. all of you that are listening will don't raise your voice. You will listen to it and, and listen even more than once because there's so many diamonds, so many interesting things only share with us, maybe simple to a lot of you, but not so easy to implement and very valuable to your life mm -hmm. and your practice. So almost at the end of the conversation, I want to summarize because there's, as you can hear, there's no one single way to yep. fight loneliness. If there was, everybody would be using it, right? But that doesn't mean that loneliness is impossible to beat. Or Absolutely. that if you're feeling it, now you will feel it forever. Absolutely not. Exactly. And I think that's a really important point. Uh, it's like that you're saying is that we can all feel like even yesterday, I was I, I just like caught myself feeling miserable. I, I feel like like, oh, my God, I have no one to call with my with my thoughts. And of course, that's ridiculous. Of course, I have people. We all have people. But, you know, we can get caught up in, in you know, when we get disconnected in thinking that. So, so uh, it's so important that to have tools, you say there's not one way to do it, but there definitely is a method and there are tools to feel more fulfilled, to feel more confident and to even feel excited about life despite the challenges that we're facing. And I'm just going to mention if, if, if we have time, I just want to mention that I'm actually doing a, a short training on this on Thursday. It's, it's invite only, but since I'm here, I want to invite anyone who is here and, and watching this, um, please DM me and I will send you the link to it. It's a, it's just a, it's, it's going to be a small group and I'm just doing this training because of the uncertainty in our, in our society right now, because a lot of people have asked me like, Uni, like I need help right now. The uncertainty is killing me. There's so much chaos in my life. Like there's, you know, people are going through difficult transitions. So I just wanted to do a training and, you know, just, you know, completely free. And, uh, so if anyone wants to join, uh, DM me, contact me, and I'll send you the link. Absolutely. You can also contact me if you want to get in contact with me, and I'll connect you, we'll send you the link. And yeah. I think maybe I'll be there myself. I'll try to see if I, I can. Please do. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. I mean, that would be sure. I mean, I think you should not hide from it. We should deal with it. I think that's, I should be part of it as well. And you're yeah. so right. You always feel lonely. There's moments of that, that because loneliness affects millions of people. Yeah. There are many things you could do when you're trying to overcome it. The key, actually, as you heard when he's saying, is realizing how you feel and finding the best tragedy for you. What you learned today in this insightful session, I hope you learned a lot of things with Uni. And to some of the best session, let me share a quote for, to definitely inspire many of you, I hope, at least me, my mother Teresa, who said, the most terrible poverty 
is loneliness and the mm -hmm. feeling of being unloved. And I think you pay attention to that because it will affect your life, your business, your career, your health, and anything else if you're not dealing with these things that affect all of us. So now, my friend, it's time to take action and implement everything you learned in this session. We have been here with Uni Tuatini. She's loneliness and connection expert, lawyer, author, speaker, facilitator. And for now, I want to thank you, Uni. It's been fantastic having you. The time passed very fast, as you see. Almost 45 minutes together, but I enjoy every single thing and advice you gave us. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for having me. It's like such a pleasure and honor to be here. And we want to thank you, uh, me and myself, each, each one of you joining us, listening to us, even if sent to the replay. We are all really honored you've been with us, and I hope you take it to heart everything you heard today. And reach out to Uni, join the, do this quiz, join the training, do things for yourself, and just yeah. invest yourself the best thing you can do. And I promise you, you'll be in a very, very good end of an expert who really care. Remember, next episode is next Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central European Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Pacific Time. Now, it's your time to switch on and build connections from the inside out and just start dealing and getting rid of your loneliness. Thanks, Uni. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody, for Thank now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.